Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have the review of the HGUC, or High Grade Universal Sentry, Jim Quill. Now this is one of those kits I, I've been willing to try, but I've always been delaying it because I already have the Master Grade version of it. Because if I had to choose between a High Grade or a Master Grade, I, will always, I would always go for a Master Grade. So that's why it took me a while to get this kit, and I just finally decided to review this kit as well. And so... First of all, this kit is a very basic kit, but at the same time, I'm surprised that not many people actually know about know what this doesn't know what this is. I posted this kit on Facebook, my building process on Facebook yes last night, and a lot of people didn't know what this was or was even aware of it. So basically, in a nutshell, the Jim Quell is basically like a modified version of the Jim Custom, but in more easier or in even more simpler term, it will be the base kit or slash base mobile suit. Uh, of the the Hazels and the Gundam Mark II. Um, if you actually have the Gundam Mark II, you can actually see some elements similar as the Gundam Mark II, but um, it's only a partial of it, not entirely, so just letting you guys know. Anyway, let's get on to the review. First of all, what you get, of course, is the Jim Quill itself. You get a machine gun. You get a shield and a shield connector. And then, let's see, you get two beam saber effects, but you will be only using one because you only get one beam saber hilt, which is on the backpack. And some leftover polycaps. Okay, and let's see, you get some uh, sticker decals. As you can see, I didn't use many. I only used the, uh, what you call it, Titan symbol and a 04 for the shield. And, yeah, uh, and the old Titan symbol as well. I'll show you guys that one more time. And here's the sticker. Most of them, most of the stickers are all like cam uh, camera related stickers, except for these two yellow ones. This yellow one is actually two pieces. They go for the vents on the shoulder. This is the V section on the waist section, which I colored in metallic gold again, as usual. Okay, here's the beam saber hilt. Uh, and we get some leftover pieces. Now, my guess is that most of these leftover pieces are from the other uh, Hazel kit. Because I believe the Jim Qual came out after a, a, a certain Hazel kit came out. So you know, these are the leftovers. You actually get uh, four hands. One open hand for the... Okay. One open hand for the um, for the left hand. One trigger finger. Actually, you get two trigger fingers. Two trigger fingers for the right and the left uh, of the kit. Which I'm kind of surprised to see. But this uh, this trigger finger is kind of not the, the modern one. It's kind of the old one. Where it is a trigger finger. But there's no peg and hole system going on onto the hand itself. And you get one less hand guard. So that's kind of a weird move. Uh, here's the other right hand for the beam saber. I find it really odd. This hand is a little bit to be odd. I'll explain that later. And here you guys are like all leftover parts from a different kit. I'm assuming that these are like from the backpack and etc. So let's get those out of the way, and let's get on to the articulations of the kit itself. So let's start with the head. First of all, I really love the head design. Uh, by the way, that 426 number decal you see on the shoulder, uh, that's not from this kit, that's from a different uh, you know, de decal sheet, just letting you guys know. The head, I really love the design of the head, and if there's one uh, up, one thing that this is better than the Master Grade is the visor, because the Master Grade visor comes in a clear plastic, while this one actually comes in a orange color, uh, orange clear piece. Actually, let me just increase the height of my tripod, and there we go. And there's a head camera on the front and on, on the back, and, oh, come on, there's a, on the back, as you can see. Uh, the antenna is a firm connection because sometimes uh, these antennas could be a little bit loose. Another thing I find loose is the beam saver handle, uh, which is on the back. But yeah, because there's no exact peg or peg going on, it's just like lying in there. So the head it doesn't go down that much, but it can go up quite a lot. And then 360, I don't know. I guess it should be possible if you know your way around. And yeah, it can go forward and backward a little bit. Okay, the stickers on the shoulders, these, are, these two yellow parts are the stickers I've been talking about. I find it a little bit odd, but it's not too serious, so just letting you guys know. The body, a very Gundam Mark II-ish design, which is kind of based on, and also uses the 360 cockpit. Okay, uh, the body, there's no uh, there, there's no app crunch, but um, the body, the way how it's connected, you can move a little bit forward and backward if you wish to do so. And then 360 is kind of possible, surprisingly. So that's pretty much it for the um, body, but I find it odd that they didn't give you an extra sticker for this camera here. I, I don't know why. Okay, for the shoulder, this is the old Titan symbol as far as I know. The, sh um, the, the shoulder, 
come on okay the shoulder can move a little bit can move forward and backward not bad at all and then it can go to the side about 90 degrees and then despite its age it's actually it does have it has a double jointed uh, elbow very nice and then 360 should be no problem at all and the way how the arms are connected is through a peg not a ball joint so that's that, and your hands are your typical uh, uh, ball jointed hand. And uh, one thing I find interesting is that this can spin 360, and this is not connected as a peg. It's actually on like on hinge. So just letting you guys know, which I do prefer because sometimes uh, some kids, um, this the connection between the main shoulder and the arm is some kids do like feel a little bit loose or tend to fall off some time to time. Okay, for the waist section, as mentioned, this V section is supposed to be a yellow sticker. I colored it in metallic gold, and it turned out pretty well. Yeah. And then the side skirts, the, uh, the front skirts, these are the ones that you can actually, um, you know, separate if you wish to do so. You can go front, front about that much. The side skirt can go about side to the side this much. Um, yeah, uh, there's these holes that you have but you don't really use for this kit. And someone told me that if you if you have, actually have other hazel kits, these are for like to store in the extra ammo packs for the beam rifle, which this one doesn't actually have. And the back skirt does not move at all. I will get into the backpack later. Okay, um, for the leg articulation, there's no side swivel, but it's connected to a ball joint, so pretty good. And then it can go front to the it can 90 degrees up front, and then there's these two cameras on the f uh, lower leg, and then it, it it has about a 90 degree bend. So and your typical and your typical ball jointed feet. So that's that. Okay, now let's get its equipment and backpack. The backpack very simple looking. It has that uh, Gundam Alex ish design, but it was only one beam saber, and since uh, so yeah, for the equipment, you don't really get much. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of um, a little bit disappointed because they only give you the machine gun because the Jim Quill was actually seen or referenced in a lot of games, and it was te it's technically able to use a beam uh, rifle like the Jim Custom. The Jim Custom was never seen to using a beam rifle because of like cost uh, reasons, but the Jim Custom actually had enough power in its generator to actually use beam uh, beam rifles as well. Hence. Also, the Jim Cut Jim Quell is also capable of doing that, and actually was seen using it um, in games and other manga, but in manga, but oh well. Uh, yeah. So for the uh, equipment, the only thing you get is a machine gun and has that camera on the front. Also, the trigger finger is just your typical straight ball joint. So it, at first, it might be kind of tricky, but once you get it in and get it in position, you won't really have much issues as well. Uh, and each arm has these holes on the bottom section where you can actually connect the shield uh, connector right here and the shield, the way how the shield connects to the shield connector is not through a peg but you just clip sliding in like that now you actually did you actually get two of these pieces but one I I'm using my second one because the first one was really loose to the point where it just like slides off too easily and another issue is that and these holes are actually, a, it's not a, there's no poly cab in here, it's just a hole made by another plastic piece inside the arm. So it does not give you a, a firm connection. I, I put it on, it feels a little bit loose, it feels like a little bit uneasy. So uh, that's my downs. Uh, that's the only downside of this kit if I had to like point out or something. And also the legs do kind of feel a little bit beefy, but that could be just me. Okay, lastly is the beam uh, saber. I'll take this off and then... Here we have, we have this hand. The way this hand is con uh, constructed is pretty interesting because you actually uh, attach the thumb to the main hand and then you actually attach another uh, piece where it contains these four fingers to the front. So that's that. Uh, the beam saver just pops up pretty easily and you can attach the beam saver effect pretty just, just like that. And then, I don't know why this was really necessary but this is this holds this in a, in a angled way like that, like this. I would not have mind to get a getting a normal multi-purpose hand to hold the beam saber, but oh well. So yeah, it does hold the beam saber, pretty stable, doesn't fall off. But yeah, it, you know, if depending on the way how you look at it, it looks a little bit awkward. Anyway, that was basically it for the HUC Jim Quill. 
once again this is a very simple basic yet a pretty good quality kit for its time so any titans fans out there or those who are like a fan of grunts well technically i say grunt but the the origins of the gym quote is technically from the gym custom which is which was actually meant for elite pilots i'm not sure about the gym quote being the same situation but this was used in multiple in multiple ways like for elite forces uh, I believe some Elite Forces actually had like a Gundam-ish head, but still not considered as a, a gym. Uh, so yeah, if you have extra Hazel parts, you can actually, or a Gundam Mark II backpack, the old one, you can actually attach it to the back and then use the head for it uh, from the Hazels as well to make another another va variant if you wish to do so. Anyway, that was the review of the HGUC Gym Quell. If you have any questions or requests, leave a comment below. If I if I got anything wrong, leave a comment below as well. I still have more kits to buy and build, so please stay tuned. Uh, once again, this is a very recommendable kit for beginners or any fans of the Grunts or Titans or whatever. Until then, see you guys next time! <laughs>